player for the Tigers this year, was a Heisman finalist, and is a great competitor, as you all know if you've watched him play, Tyra Matthews. How y'all doing today? Uh, like Coach said, I'm, I'm Tyron Matthew. I'm no superhero. I'm just like y'all. I was sitting right here just like y'all. But what got me to this point, I, I think the first thing for me was I had to want to be like somebody. Whether it was Charles Wilson, whether it was Patrick, whether it was Mo Claiborne. I had to want to be like them before I, before I could even see myself as being great. So, I mean, I, that, that was one of the first things for me. You know, I think a lot of y'all wouldn't be in here if y'all didn't want to be like somebody that y'all like, 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 like seeing play when y'all grow up. You know, but I think, the, I think the bottom line is, man, it comes down to hard work and, and courage for me. You know, because I got to outwork everybody. Not because of what people say about me, not because of, of what I'm afraid of, but the simple fact is, it's something I let her do. I got extreme passion for this. And I can be real honest with y'all. If I have football, I don't know. And that's the truth. I'll probably be in college, you know, because I, cause I, cause I had big dreams, you know, I want to be a success. But I, I don't know. I, don't, I, I, I truly don't know. So this, this was my avenue. This was the only channel I had on my TV that I could actually go to to be great. You know, but I think at the same time, there's a lot of things you got to put in place with that. Like it's school, it's family, you know, it, it's listening to your coaches. It, it's you trying to be a leader. I'm not, I'm not the perfect leader. I admit that, but I try to be though. You know, I don't try to step on anybody's toes. You know, I try to respect everybody as a young man. You know, but, I, but it comes down to, man, I got to have the courage, I got to have the heart. To walk out here in front of all these fans, a hundred thousand of them, and I gotta and I gotta be a man. I, I, I can't I can't I can't worry about what happened in the past. You know I gotta I gotta take care of what's in front of me today, and that's all I got control over. Sure, I'm sure I got mistakes ahead of me that I'll make, cause I'm not perfect. I, none of us is, but it's, for me it's how you it's how you recover from the mistakes. You know, did, did, did I apply enough things that I learned? You know, in my past life, can I apply that to my future mistakes? Can it help me? I'm sure it would. You know, but, but for me, man, I wanted to be like all my role models. And then it got to a point I wanted to be better than them. I didn't take nothing away from their game at all. I just wanted to be better than them. That's the only way I can view myself, I'm sorry. Some of y'all follow me on Twitter, but that's really the only way I can view myself. I'm not cocky, I'm not arrogant. You can ask anybody, I'm humble. But the only way I can view myself is being great, you know? And, and, and man, y'all taking that first step, y'all coming to camp, in front of all these coaches, in front of all these players, y'all see us come out here. Man, that's, that's, you, that, you need courage for that, man. You know, and that's, and that's a step in the right direction. You know, but I think, I think a lot of y'all, y'all have to want to be like somebody, man. The right person. It could be your dad, it could be your cousin, whoever. But y'all have to want to be like somebody. Because when I was out here, I didn't know. I didn't know the good, I didn't know the bad. I was just, I was just, I was just flowing with, with the river. You know? But I had to want to be like somebody, man. And it's not a bad thing to want to be like somebody. You know? Y'all taking initiative, man. Y'all trying to get y'all life on the right path, and I, and I truly respect that. I respect the grind. Because when I was sitting in y'all seats, I didn't have a scholarship. I had about three or four, you know, scholarships. And, that, and, that, and that's just real. But what separated me was my grind, my hustle, my attitude. I was confident. I was small, but I was, yeah. I was confident, you trust me, because that's all I had. I knew I was good, but who was going to separate me? Probably my attitude, my confidence, you know, the way I walk, the way I inspire others, you know? You know? And, that's, and that's really all I can do. And that's why every day I wake up, man, my, my, my purpose in life is to inspire y'all. I'm a great football player, in my eyes, my teammates' eyes, my coaches' eyes, 
But that's not my purpose in life. My purpose in life is to try to get y'all where I'm at. Because when I was in y'all's seats, I needed somebody to get me where they was at. You know, it's just, it's just being a helping hand, man. And I just want to encourage y'all, man, wherever life take y'all, man. Y'all got to be strong. Y'all got to be courageous. Y'all got to just work hard in whatever you do. But this school, like Russell said, I don't I love school. I haven't missed a class this summer, though. You know, I haven't missed a tutoring session this summer. Not one. Because it's something I got to do. You know? And it ain't that hard. It's just an hour. Or an hour and a half. Out of my day. Out of my time. Something that's going to help me in life. So that's something I had to, I had to, I had to be courageous about. I didn't like school. I didn't like to even be called on. And you know, I definitely don't like signing autographs in class. You know, but it's something that I got to do for myself, to better myself. You know? Like, like we had one of the speakers come in and they said, you know, either you're going to cost or you're going to count. See, I don't want to cost my team. I don't want to miss any more games due to my, due to my mistakes. You know, things I could, that, that I could have prevented. You know? But I damn sure won't count when the game on the line in this fourth quarter, you know, and everybody looking at me. You know what I'm saying? And I damn sure won't count when, when they when they when they doing academic meetings and my name ain't on that list. So that's when you really count. You know, but I just want to encourage y'all, man, y'all gotta work hard. And when I say work hard, I don't mean do what your coach tell you to do. You, you're gonna do that, you're supposed to do that. I'm talking about extra. You come in there three, four times a day. See, that's grind. That's hustle. That's motivation. See, you ain't just happy with what coach teaching you. You know, you're applying it, but you ain't happy with it. And, and, that, and that's just what it is. You know, I got, I got my coach. He coached me. I got Coach Mike. coached me. I got Cora Webster. Oh, I got all of them. Patrick. I got everybody coaching me. And I do all their workouts in the same day. That's, that's, that's just what I'm doing. I, I put that on myself. <laughs> you know? I put that on myself. I want to be great. It ain't hard. It's just something you got to have a passion for. You got to have pride. Y'all keep y'all heads up, man. Y'all keep pushing forward. I wish all y'all the best luck. I wish all y'all the best. This upcoming season, man. Y'all take care.